All right, what I need you guys to do if you enjoy MXGP Pro is go down and smash that thumbs up button right now. You see that thumbs up button? Click it. And if you don't like MXGP Pro, well, you should probably like the video anyways. You should probably like the video for me. If you do that, it would be much appreciated. Today, guys, we are back playing some mxgp pro here on pc this game looks absolutely gorgeous and i figured in honor of mxgp 2019 coming out at the end of the month or near the end of the month we can hop in and play some mxgp pro if you guys have any other video ideas that you want to see from mxgp pro before mxgp 2019 comes out let me know in the comments below. I'll be down there reading them and I will definitely get some of those ideas done. Today we're gonna hop in to a race here on Erne. I probably butchered that name. We're gonna hop into it, talk about some MXGP things. Should be a good video. Let's roll the intro. Alright, so here we go, of course, with that beautiful outside gate pick, and I don't really care how I do in this video, I just want to talk about a few things with you guys. So, go off the start here, get into the mix, get into the battle, and we will have some fun with it. Oh, man, wh what? <laughs> would have been nice to get to that inside, we probably would have pulled a decent start, but not today, man. MXGP things not going our way, but... Basically, this video, I don't really have, like, anything too serious to talk about. I just want to get, like, your opinions on MXGP. The MXGP series here on, I mean, the, the video game scene. I don't know where I was going with that, but... Yeah, if you enjoy MXGP Pro, let me know why in the comments below. And if you don't enjoy MXGP Pro, doesn't even have to be MXGP Pro. If you've played any of the recent MXGP games, let me know your thoughts on them down below in the comments. Are you guys a huge fan or not? Let me know why. Give me a reason as to why you like or dislike this game. Throw those comments down below. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Check out the Once Company. Oppose nothing. Conquer everything make your dreams come true guys grab some merch other than that follow me on instagram at goonzig productions just type in goonzig and it should come up you should be able to find me and okay did you like that little transition in to promo i'm trying to cut down the intros i know you guys always say goonzig your intros are so long and like i know man i'm trying to cut them down i'm trying to get in to the routine of keeping them a little shorter because sometimes they can be like two minutes but yeah we are here mxgp this game is fun i love coming back and i mean just hopping into it having fun with it because i haven't really played it a lot <laughs> recently that was a send into the corner i figured i was going down there but i don't really play this game too much here on the channel it kind of died off really quick and that's why I really want to know how you guys feel about the MXGP series. I know for a fact it has its lovers and it has its haters, but I love to hear the reasons why, and I love the backstory. I love it when you guys actually go into detail and explain, you know, oh, okay, that is one reason right there as to why I kind of dislike this game. The crashing is just, it's on another level of ridiculous, to be honest. Like, it is on another level but honestly i don't really know why this game kind of died off on the channel and i think it's mainly due to the fact that you guys didn't really have an interest in it as subs as viewers as anyone who just stumbles across the the video i mean the majority of my channel's views and i mean a lot of people here on youtube it, uh, the, the views come from recommended your videos being recommended and it seems like MXGP Pro just did not pop on the YouTube scene. And I don't know if that's because, like, the fan base wasn't that big, so not a lot of people were searching for it, and no one really wanted to watch the gameplay on it, or I don't really know, like, what the reason behind it is. <laughs> oh, okay, I don't know what went down there. We got a little whiskey throttle, man. <laughs> but yeah, me being in 17th place... I'm just gonna roll with this race and uh, turn this into a fun video. Like I said from the start, I don't really care how I do, I just wanted to have some fun with it. Um, like one mistake, one mistake can cost you 
your whole entire race. Now the main reason I am kind of interested to see what people think about the MXGP series is mainly because with MXGP 2019 coming out at the end of the month, I don't really see anything that has like caught my eye as like, wow, I need to buy this game. I don't really see anything new, anything crazy that is going to make me really, really love that game over this game. And you guys can say track editor, waypoint mode, blah, 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 blah. I could go on for days about why that is not really, in my opinion, enough to be a new game. And I really just have like a curiosity to see how people are kind of feeling with like less than a month until the new game launches like are you guys hyped for the new game is anyone even talking about it or thinking about it i think to be honest like i don't really want to go too in depth about it in this video because i want to save it for a future video closer to the the date of launch but I just think they haven't done, I mean, a great job promoting the game. Like, the first couple trailers that came out, most people would probably be like, what the heck is this? Like, it was kind of like a an abandoned zombies type deal, and it was like, find a safe place, and no one really knew what was going on. So, I don't know, maybe there's going to be some big surprise, and the game's going to have like a battle royale mode or something. Who knows, but at this point... I just don't know, I don't know if it's the fact that Milestone has not done the best at advertising for the game, like we've seen some gameplay laps and other than that the main focus has been on the track editor, like we got a track editor video and besides that it's just like the three little quick clips that we got, like teasers, and those were released like time ago, and then we got a trailer kind of combining all three of them, announcing the track editor and waypoint mode and the sharing and, and all that stuff, so yeah, we haven't really gotten like a really, really cool trailer that blows my mind to be honest, and I'm almost wondering if that's due to the fact that this is now going to be the fifth MXGP game. So for the most part, most of us have seen that content before and there's nothing really that new. We've all seen hurlings riding, you know, on the track. We've seen crashes from these riders before and there, there's just nothing like, I don't know, nothing crazy for them to show off. And I just feel like if we were going to get some updated physics and some crazy new whips or something like that, then they would definitely be hyping that up and talking about it. And that's kind of why I think, like, one, the promo for the game has been lacking because there's not much to talk about. And number two, I mean, yeah, I think that's that's pretty much it. Like, there's there's nothing really new. So there's nothing for them to really make trailers on other than the track editor and stuff like that. And we've seen it all before. There you go. There's your number two. We've seen it all before. So I don't know how I'm feeling right now. I definitely have a... I'm going at it with an open mind 100%. When I get the game and get my hands on the game, I'm not... I'm going to turn my expectations off. But as of right now, my expectations are like really, really low, which is kind of sad. So yeah, that's kind of just been one thing I've been thinking about. Maybe we are going to get another trailer here in the near future, but I think like with them already having the pre-order bonus and everything announced, I just think like the the promotion is kind of done. It's, it's done with and they're just going to release the game, drop the game on us and I mean hope for the best. And I don't know, just looking at it from my perspective there, like if I was a game developer and I had some crazy new whips or some crazy new features and physics and all that, I would definitely go ahead and uh, show that off in my promo video, in my trailer, right? But there's just nothing really that stands out to me in the MXGP trailers that we got, MXGP 2019 trailers that is. and. If the track editor and the waypoint mode are the only things that are new within the game, then so be it, and I'll probably be disappointed. Tonight's but but like I said, I'm planning on going in to the game with my expectations shut off. I don't want to show up, show up to the game. It's like I'm showing up to the facility in in Europe. But no, when I download the game, when I get my hands on it, and I play it for the first time. I'm going in with no expectations and I'm going to judge it for 
itself, right? Like, I'm gonna judge MXGP 2019 based off of MXGP 2019. I'm gonna take it for what it is, and we will go from there. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here, guys, if you did in- <laughs> Wow, I got sketchy. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to smash that thumbs up button for me. Let me know in the comments below. Are you guys hyped for the new MXGP game or not? Are you ready to be let down? Let me know in the comments below. Like I said, if you guys enjoyed, smash that thumbs up button for me. I will catch you guys all in another video. Peace.